Hi guys, hope you're all doing good. Today we're going to go over some more examples about if statements. Actually, it's one example that we're going to go over, and it's a long one, kind of. Um, we're basically going to make a program that simply takes a value from the user, or a grade, actually, from the student, and converts it from a percentage grade to a letter grade. So the user enters a 90, for instance, and the computer gives him back, or her, back a, an A. Or a 90 and a B for an 80 or 85 or whatever okay so this is how we do it we start with declaring our variables as always so double let me just start double um, we make a variable called grade and that's going to be entered right and then we see out asking the user to enter his grade please enter your grade okay and then we just actually see in we actually see in the value into grade we store it in grade and then we start our if statements okay so basically I wanted to do the following if the grade entered is from 90 to 100 I want the grade returned back to be an A if the grade entered is from 80 to 89.99 I want it to return a B if the grade is from 70 to 79.999, I want it to be a C. And if it's from 60 to set from 60 to 69.99, I want it to be a D. And anything else, I want to be an E. Okay, and that's how we do it, or this is how we do it actually. If have a condition, and if grade is greater than 90, okay. But it's not only greater than 90. It should be greater than 90 and also less than 100. That is the condition. So it's kind of like two conditions in one. And to join two conditions, we talked earlier about the AND operator or the OR operator. In this case, we're going to use AND because we need the condition to be basically if grade is greater than 90 and at the same time, that's why we have AND, and at the same time, grade is less than 100 okay now if this is the case notice how we have parentheses on the outside of the whole thing and parentheses for the sub um, boolean expressions so this is a boolean expression and this is another one okay right here if this is true right here and this is true if both of them are true then we can go into this if statement the first part of it right okay and we can actually see out just say your letter grade is and say uh, we said A, right? A. Okay, now let's have an else if right here. Else if and have another condition. Else if grade is greater than 80, okay, but at the same time, let's put these in parentheses for each condition or subcondition. Okay, if grade is greater than 80, and we use the and operator, and and remember it's two ands like that, shift seven two times, and this condition is all also true. So if grade is greater than 80 and grade is less than 90, because if it's more than 90, it's covered here, right? then we can go on to this part of the if statement and remember this is all one big block of if statements so this is only one condition okay will be fulfilled okay so then we want to see out or we can actually just copy this you know what I'm why type it again you know getting lazy there you go and then see out B and instead of just, we can't actually do B, we, we have to have it like that in, in double quotes or in single quotes. Okay, because if, if it was an A without the quotes, that means it's a variable and there's no variable called A. It would have given us an error. So now another else if, let's take this, copy it, and paste it right here. Else if grade is greater than, let's say now 70, 
and at the same time grade is less than 80 okay so if it's from 70 to 80 then your your letter grade is let's change this to C and this is being printed out so that's why C out doesn't matter the spacing or whatever C out and your letter grade is this and every time we change it here we have it as an A, B, and C and then let's have another else statement else if grade is greater than 60 and at the same time grade is less than 70 okay then your grade your letter grade is going to be D okay and then after D what's after D there's E right so else if okay else if what we want to do now is basically cover if the value or if the if the grade he enters is greater than a hundred or less than zero okay or you know what we'll cover that later for now just let's do from zero to from zero to fifty nine 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 right so else if grade is greater than zero okay and at the same time so and grade oops grade is less than um, we said 50 60 right so it's less than 60 then close this condition then we're gonna have the computer um, give him his grade to be copy paste then your grade is E so if it's from 0 to 60 it's E okay and if it's let's have a C there now else anything else if it's anything else so if it's not in any of those cases not from 90 to 100 and not from 80 to 90 and not from 70 to 80 and not from 60 to 70 and not from 0 to 60 that means you know what else is left that means it's either above 100 or less than 0 right so else if if that's the case else everything else which means from up, you know above 100 and less than 0 then this is what we want to print out for the user or the student see out you don't even deserve to be a student because you don't know that and I'm not even going to complete it because he doesn't de deserve to even read that because you know if he, he's putting like negative four for a grade then you know what kind of student is that I would understand why he failed math and everything else for that matter anyways okay so this is and we're, we're missing one thing though we're missing when we say if grade is greater than 90 and less than 100 what is this implying it's saying basically that if you have a grade of 91 it would fall here you would get an A but if you have a grade of 90 what would happen if you have a grade of 90 it's not covered here right it's gonna be covered in the else statement the last one which is the stupid one right because it's not covered in any of those because there is no there is no equality sign here so now we're saying when we have the equality sign we're saying if grade is greater or equal to 90 okay and at the same time it's less than 100 then a is going to be the grade okay so the equality sign is essential you have to put it there um, if it's greater or equal to 80 because now you're covering 80 and you're covering 70 you're covering all the tens we did we, we didn't have them covered before so now you're covering each of them okay so and there's no space between the I mean the uh, greater than and the equality sign it's one operator we talked about it okay um, for this one it doesn't matter for this one it has to be without the equality sign because if you covered the equal you if you covered the 90 here then you can't cover it here you know it's either an A or a B so we have all the cases covered now okay so let's run the code and see what happens start without debugging we might get some errors we'll fix them no we don't have any errors that's cool what please enter your grade let's try entering 90 we get your letter grade is A okay let's try entering uh, 
say 80 your letter grade is B okay we can do the same thing for everything else let me just try to enter a uh, negative 3 you don't deserve to be a student because you don't know that uh, it doesn't complete because yeah if I enter negative 3 I don't deserve to be a student you know that's something that is known to the public okay anyways um, this is how we make something like this or you know basically convert from a percentage grade to a uh, letter grade okay that's the program we just made it's not really that long if you guys want the code I can just email it to you just leave me a comment or something um, it's really not that bad but um, yeah this should give you an idea on you know what we can do with if statements okay um, we're gonna be talking some more about if statements in my next videos because we still have a lot to cover you know not, not a lot to cover but you know we're just gonna be doing more examples so that you guys really really understand it and comprehend you know what you can do with it so yeah um, watch my next videos take care